So, I love you, you know, all of you doing well this year, and we could see another important question. And uh, as I already shared regarding the presentation aspects and how to go about it, I'm going to share a few more insights. I'm sure you're going to make use of it. So, the, we're going to see the question on India is 37. U Limited is a large conglomerate with a number of subsidiaries. It is preparing CFS as on 31st March to as per notified India is. The FS are due to be approved for issue on 15th May 2022. Following the transaction that have taken place in subsidy on some of subsidies during the year, G Limited only on subsidy of U Limited engage in management control services. On 31st January 2022, Board of Directors decided to discontinue the business of G Limited from 30th April 2022. G made a public announcement of the decision on 15th April 2022. G Limited does not have many assets or liabilities and estimated the outstanding trade reserves would be settled by 31st May 2022. U Limited would collect any amount still owed by customers after 31st 2022, following the details relating to G Limited. It is estimated that would have to pay 540 lakhs as termination payments to employees and cost for real cash on demand with group would be 60 lakhs. Actual termination payments totaling 520 lakhs was made in full on 15th May 2022. As per the latest estimate, 15th May 2022, total real cash cost is 63 lakhs. When you see this dates, this 30th April public announcement, 15, parallelly, another 15 days, compulsorily run in your mind. These are the things I want to touch upon in this question. So, I know you will be able to apply in other aspects, other questions also. So, G Limited taken property on operating lease which expires on 31st March 26. 26. PV of future lease payments is 430 lakhs on 15th May 2022. G Limited pay uh, for early termination of the lease. The loss after tax of G Limited for the year and was 400 lakhs. G Limited made further operating losses totaling 60 lakhs till 30th April 2022. What are the provisions that the company is required to make as per in days 30, 37? So, very good question, practical question. Uh, you might face this kind of scenarios while you sign the balance sheets in the future. So, let's quickly see what are the key things we kept in mind in this. So, main thing we should keep in mind is these are the things. Operating lease is a onerous contract. This is first one, and as I was briefing, highlighting on that various dates, what candidates tend to make mistake is they will answer this based only on India's 37, and they miss to highlight the relevance of India's 10. But as a professional, this is very much expected. That is, even the droid additional evidence of conditions, this line is important. So, company should make a provision of 520 lakhs. So then comes to the stand what the restructuring include sale or termination of business. So very important this is the key difference between this constructive obligations provision was not there in the early days, but these are the significant changes in India 37. So constructive obligation to restructure arises when entity has a detailed formal plan for restructuring, which we saw because there was an elaborate clear with material values also presented appropriately to the management as raised valid expectation in those affected that will carry out restructuring by starting to implement that plan. So these three key things we should keep in mind for this presentation and this is restructuring provision includes only the direct expenditure arising from the restructuring that are necessarily entitled by restructuring and are not associated with ongoing activities of the entity. So let's see 520 lakhs we just saw that it should be included and the relocation cost relating to future contact that is why I just highlighted you the direct expense so they are not liability for restructuring at the end of reporting period. So these will be recognized on the same basis later at the time as if they are independent of restructuring. So a provision for this operating lease should be made at the lower of cost of fulfilling and any compensation arising from failure. So 430 lakhs or 410 lakhs whichever is lower so 410 lakhs. So operating lease do not form part of closure. So the total provision required for this is 510, 520 plus 410 that is 930 lakhs. So what are the key things you should keep in mind? You should highlight and touch upon in days and its key terms. And also you should brief about the onerous contract. And I should mention about what are the various expenditures that perform part of 
it should be disclosed in this case because restructuring expense what are the thing it excludes what are the thing it includes and uh, what is what do you understand by constructive obligation so this is a very good question ideally it should come for 8 marks but you may get for 4 5 marks also so ensure you don't you capitalize on this questions because this is all theory and straight forward but the expectation from you is very high from this from the examiner so reproduce as it is and make the most of it have a fantastic time